all right what is up everybody back today with another knife review on the channel today we've got a really cool knife it's actually one that i've had for a little bit now i've kind of procrastinated the review no particular reason um it's a really cool knife so obviously i've got a chris reeve knife here large sabenza 31 inlay this is a left-handed knife real quick we will go through the build sheet you guys know i'm not big into box reviews i like the knife parts so we got a left-handed knife here drop point chad nichols boomerang damascus which is still a stainless steel inlay bog oak manufacture date january 24th 2022 it's currently march 3rd 2022 uh so this knife is a little a little over a month and a half old it was a little over gosh like two weeks old when i got it uh, i got it from dlt um they only had one of them because they were numbered like number one two three and four uh, and you got the exact knife pictured um i don't know how many of these exactly they had but here is the knife in all its beauty see the bog oak inlay there and that is b-o-g oak and if you're not aware like i wasn't um until after i got the knife uh, bog oak is actually one of the rarest woods in the world and it is formed when it's not only oak trees um, but it's primarily oak trees and other trees that fall into bogs uh, especially in europe um it then over the next couple hundred years, pretty much fossilizes in the water and the bog environment. Um, so it's pretty much just partially fossilized wood. And uh, that's pretty cool. But anyways, let's get a good shot of this Damascus here. Because this is absolutely beautiful. Man. Really good looking Damascus there. I'm not a huge Damascus fan, to be honest with you. Um, I just bought a, uh, a Spartan Blades Harsey 3.25 inch, so the smaller version. Um, and DLT had a Damascus version, and I actually opted for the uh, plain satin finish uh, titanium knife. Uh, I don't know. I've kind of got a love-hate with Damascus. I think it's, it's really cool and it's beautiful. Um, but I don't know. Something about it, it's like it's like I don't really have a reason that I don't like it, and I and I don't hate it, but like I like this. This I think this is beautiful. Um, I'm just overall not a fan. Like one of my first knives was the Civivi Elementum uh, Damascus, and I really didn't like it. Uh, I like the knife, but I didn't like the Damascus pattern. I don't know. I'm just weird. Um, anyways the back here on uh, this sabenza 31 absolutely beautifully crafted um i mean the fit and finish on this thing is just phew, as good as it gets pretty much <laughs> um so this is a very expensive knife this is a 750 dollar knife uh which is going to put this above what most sane people <laughs> are willing to spend for a knife uh, me uh not being all there mentally uh bought this knife and i've bought even more expensive knives uh, medford praetorian t enters chat <laughs> um but anyway i need to do a update on this medford i've got this thing broken pretty well now uh once you play with it you know, there it went you can pretty much thumb flick it and it is fall shut um so this is big knife being drop shut he's pretty cool um but anyways, yeah, it's a really cool knife. Um, I really, you know, I've I've got one other Chris Reeve knife. I'll show it real quick. It's the small and cozy left-handed Tonto with the black micarta inlays. Um, and this is a really nice knife. Very smooth. You can flick it, no issues. Um, but I just feel like you don't... It's almost like you don't get to fully appreciate it and, and until you get one of their full-size knives. And I don't know about you all, 
Um, but that, that milling back there, that does something for me. <laughs> um, uh, it just, it does something for me. So, uh, overall, absolutely love this knife. I, I've actually been, um, looking for a plain Jane, uh, Damascus Sabenza 31 left-handed. Um, uh, obviously the left-handed knives are very hard to find. You don't see them very often at all. So that's why I kind of snagged this one when I saw it and being these newer inlays, being a newer knife, uh, with the boomerang Damascus, I figured it would probably be worth its money later on, especially being left-handed. Um, it makes it not terribly desirable. Also making it very rare. So, <laughs> um, it's kind of one of those things. But yeah, um, I used it for a few weeks. It was kind of hard to thumb flick. I couldn't get it to thumb flick out without uh, using a little wrist flick. Um, and I had it like that for a few weeks. And I disassembled it. Uh, I cleaned it. And then I re-lubed everything with the uh, fluorinated grease they provide. And it's very smooth. Now, I think what the problem was, if you take one of these apart, there's the pin that comes through for your pivot but there's also a a bushing i would call it a bushing that sits on the pin that the blade then sits on top of um and i oiled all the surfaces in between everything there and that actually made a really big difference as far as uh, overall smoothness and ease of opening uh, you can see now when i flick it correctly it pops out, deploys very well, and then you've got a pretty fall shut action there when you uh, depress your lock bar. So this knife, gosh, it's just, it's one of those things, it's almost like you can't describe it, you just gotta feel it. Um, something about this knife just screams quality, and I think it's the quality of it. Uh, go ahead and quote that in the comments. It'll sound even better the second time. <laughs> but anyways, no. Um, so yeah, I about said all I need to. You know, the Sabenza 31, updated version of the Sabenza. Um, absolutely fantastic knife. Highly recommend if you can find one. Uh, so yeah, just kind of wanted to show off this Bog Oak Damascus version of the Sabenza. Not really a full, full review on a Sabenza as there are hundreds of those out there. So that's my take on my Sabenza 31. Pretty basic video, just me kind of chatting. Uh, if you're still here, uh, leave a comment. Um, working my way towards 100 subscribers. Um, that's really cool. That's more than I ever thought I would get. You know, uh, when I had 10 subscribers, I was happy. I was like, 10 people wanted to see another one of my videos. I just thought that was cool. You know, I'm just... Just a normal knife nut, um, also a gun nut, but getting into knives now, uh, because I can play with these at work, and nobody calls the cops, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, really cool, uh, I've got some more knives coming, like I said, I've got that Spartan Harsey 3.25 inch, that's kind of a direct competitor to the Sabenza 31, as they're pretty much identical size. And supposedly, somebody that founded Spartan Blaze, the guy that founded it, used to work for Chris Reeves. I heard that. I haven't researched it. Um, but from what I've seen, people who get the Spartan knives really like them. So I've got one of those coming. Um, what other reviews? I think I've got to still review this. The Hoback Husky. Or did I review this? No, I still need to review this, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know what I'm doing, guys. I, I work a lot. I just do this for fun. Then I got, just yesterday, pretty cool. God, what is with my weak-ass knife flips on camera, man? Just, I can never do it right on camera. I'll do it a million times. And I'll go to do it on camera, and it'll mess up. So, uh, Subpoena Knives X-Series Apache with the Warney Blade, one cliff. Really cool little knife. Just got this yesterday. We carried it today. Um, first front flipper. Uh, it's different, but now that this knife has broken in, really cool. I uh, had a lot of fun with this knife today, playing around with it. 
So, got this review coming soon. Really like this little thing. And yes, you can reverse flick it. Let me get it down here. There you go. Let me do it back to back so you know it wasn't a fluke. All right. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, got this review coming. Pina X Series Apache. And this is the GP Knives exclusive. With the black micarta, the blue hardware, and blue backspacer. So, really cool. Um, this is one of the best looking ones, in my opinion. This GP9 is exclusive. So, these are still in stock as of March 3rd, 2022. Um, so, I would run, not walk, to pick one of these up. That is, This is the only one I found in stock currently. Um, and this is one of my favorite setups for this knife. So, check that out. Um, that's what's coming on the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. I really do every single one of you. Even if you talk crap on me, you know, that's what you think. Have a great day. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. God bless.